Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, ladies and gentlemen. As people from all over the world join us today, it's my absolute pleasure to welcome you. My name is Pooja, and I'm working for Global Health and Humanitarian Medicine course as the site content developer and student engagement for South Asia. At the outset, I would like to thank you all for joining us today for day one of MSF Scientific Day Asia 2020. Dedicated to patient centricity in complex healthcare settings, we will deliberate on patient centric health approaches and associated implications across South Asia through an array of panelists. Before we get into a brief outline of the platform and a few housekeeping rules, I would like to welcome Dr. Farhat Mantu, the General Director of MSF India, to officially kickstart the MSF Scientific Days Asia 2020. Welcome, Dr. Mantu. Thank you, Pooja. And uh, I join all of uh, you and the team here on this side to welcome each and every one of you uh, for the sixth uh, MSF Asia Scientific Day. The initial plan was that uh, we would have met face to face in Thailand and the venue was Mahidol University. Unfortunately, uh, like all the other conferences and workshop, this year we had to make this choice to move on to the virtual space. And here we are in a space which is already fatigued with information overflow with lots of webinars happening right, left and center. So how do we make this experience better for you? So I'm going to dwell on that and give you a bit of introduction into how these days are. But before that, let me go back to why do we do these scientific days? For us as MSF India, we want to offer a platform, a platform where we can cross pollinate, we can exchange ideas and learn from the field research and share it with both humanitarian and non-humanitarian actors across the globe. I'm going to refer to my notes because I have written some uh, things that, that I really want to share with you all. So why is it important? What is the aim of these scientific days? It is catalyzing evidence-based improvement on the quality of uh, care provided to patients and populations in humanitarian settings. While the focus of the day or days is sharing research and lessons from MSF and similar medical humanitarian organizations in field settings, the days are also designed for this time in a manner that we learn from each other. And learning from each other also comes from the reality that we are almost in the middle of the pandemic. We do not know yet how long and how far this would stretch for us. So looking at COVID-19, we already are faced with a very complex challenge. And beneath that challenge is an, another challenge which is equally important to put the spotlight on. That globally, whatever progress we have made on diseases outside COVID, we should make sure that, that we do not slip backwards and keep the focus and the spotlight on other, uh, I would say, uh, deadlier uh, infections like TB. Very recently, at the start of this week, there was a launch of a report um, by Stop TB uh, Partnership and MSF, where there was uh, insight into how uh, we are faring on, on globally on, on the TB burden, and equally at the same time also a caution on how COVID-19 is impacting it. While we are concerned about it, at the same time, COVID-19 also gave us opportunities and helped us overcome some of the mental barriers we would have as an organization. And globally, that is something that I see more and more the changes that are happening. So some of the positive aspects are that now we see more and more exploration in areas which earlier uh, may not have found adequate space in this. Like we talk about mental health, burden of mental health as a challenge in the public health space or newer innovations that are come to the space that that is also another aspect that, that we see that COVID has offered us. For this year, the format is slightly modified. We have two days, two shorter days, shorter sessions so that we keep these days, these sessions engaged. And the key for us is that we manage to have your attention, undivided attention, so that uh, we present through our presenters uh, abstract driven uh, operational research and also some qualitative research that has emerged out of our experiences, both MSF and non-MSF experiences on COVID. So what is on the agenda? So how are these two days going to look like for us? Day one is focused on operational research learnings and findings from the field, both for MSF and non-MSF uh, partners. And 
as much as we have spoken about talking about an invisible emergency like gender-based violence, wherein we would have one of the abstracts uh, and presentations around that, we would also be looking at some issues of access and barrier through our operational research. Examples coming in on the barriers around uh, access on TB uh, and uh, what are the access barriers uh, to TB treatment. We will also be exploring clinical characteristics and hepatitis C treatment outcomes among people who use drugs in HIV cohorts. We will also be talking about lived experiences and perception of palliative care among advanced HIV patients. Last but not the least, what would our day hold today is that we would have uh, a presentation on understanding behavioral sciences and that techniques could help us prevent and reduce violence in healthcare settings. We also are organizing some panel discussions. And the first panel discussion for today is decolonizing global health, the challenge of public health research in humanitarian settings. We are not the first one to start this conversation inside the organization or outside the organization. However, we want to keep the focus on what does it mean for public health research challenges in humanitarian settings. We have a very uh, interesting group of um, experts uh, sharing their lived experiences of what does it mean and deconstructing the whole idea about decolonization to have conversations, dialogue, reflection, and some solutions on how do we move forward. So day two, day two is a bit more on the qualitative analysis. We do recognize that we are still, as I said earlier, in the midst of the pandemic. So our focus would be bringing to you some experiences from outside MSF, all the way to Vietnam, which shares a border with China. What is the success story of COVID around Vietnam? What were the challenges that were there? Or we talk about Bangladesh. And when we look at Bangladesh, we look at the impact of COVID-19 in Cox Bazar. We may have attention towards Rohingya, but we also would explore what does it mean for the host community there? Alternatively, also talking about the stigma around uh, COVID-19 and the impact of that on healthcare, on the mental well-being of uh, professionals. In, from India, we would have a presentation which would uh, talk about the COVID experience in Mumbai. And uh, this is no news that, that Mumbai was uh, having the highest burden of COVID uh, in few uh, months uh, the, that, uh, that from uh, today that have been, uh, we would really like to see uh, how those uh, experiences were managed uh, in a project which is uh, predominantly focusing on MDRTB. And last but not the least, on, on day two, we would be also bringing in a very interesting experience of role of innovation in COVID-19 response. Day two also talks about another panel discussion where we have a group of experts, academicians, health professionals from Syria coming together and talking about the politicization of healthcare in Syria because of the protracted conflict that's going on there. And we will mainly look at two core areas. One is the impact of COVID-19 on health workers in such an environment. And the other aspect is talking about use of technology for surveillance. And I hope that we get an opportunity to ask questions around this. Please do engage on it because this is one of the various, one of the very unique contexts where who is already struggling with a breakdown of uh, part in parts, the healthcare structure. I hear from my colleagues who are working at the back end here today that we have roughly around 1,200 registrations from around 75 countries. So this is truly a global uh, conference or a platform from that perspective. And I hope that, that uh, we do have participants engaging in these two days with us. Behind the scenes, usually face-to-face, -face, this would be the last thing you would talk uh, in scientific days, but I do want to put it up front one of the key things is the scientific rigor around the presentations that have come across to you. And there is an editorial committee, which is drawn from both MSF and non-MSF experts from all over the globe. They have supported us in bringing these uh, research uh, to all of you. And a big thank you to the editorial committee uh, who are not physically here today, but are uh, spread across the globe and have helped us bring this information, make sure that, that our editorial process is selected through a transparent and a rigorous uh, scientific uh, mechanism that is put in place. Last but not the least, our organizing committee. 
this is the first time we are doing a virtual conference. So uh, I do hope that we manage all the hiccups at the back end, but then Dr. Raj, Akansha, Smriti, Deepak, this is the core team, organizing team that has been working at the back end. So we are there to make sure that this experience is a good experience for all of us. And if there are any issues, we are here to support and make sure that, that the focus stays on the presentations and we will make sure the uh, limitations that come through technology will be very well taken care of. Pooja is the MC for the day today and we have another MC for the day tomorrow. And uh, she's a fellow colleague, her name is Aditi Sandreksa, a media specialist and also currently works as the media manager for MSF India. So with this, I welcome all of you once again and hope to have good interactions and learnings that would take us to the next step. Thank you very much.